And now let's turn to Africa 54's Laura Bowman and the controversial issue of gay rights in Africa. Welcome, Laura. Thank you, Vincent. Activists are finding it's easy to champion gay rights from afar, but deadly to defend from within. Take the case of Eric Limbembe, a journalist and gay rights activist in Cameroon. Limbembe was found dead in his home last week. His neck was broken and his face had been smashed and burnt with a clothes iron. His mother doesn't know if she will ever come to terms with his death. And human rights lawyers inside the country and out are condemning it. Limbembe wrote about the abuse of homosexuals and reported on that abuse for the group Human Rights Watch. The police say they have opened an investigation into his killing. Meanwhile, the United States has seen steady growth in support for gay rights and same-sex marriages. With this has come increased American government help for gay rights worldwide. This foreign policy stance is sparking criticism both at home and abroad. VOA's Brian Padden has that story. Living now in relative freedom and security in New York City, artist and filmmaker Alexander Kargotsev remembers the harassment and violence he suffered as a gay man in his native Russia. I went to the demonstration like gay pride, an attempt of gay pride because it didn't happen and a few people were arrested and I was beaten by police and I, I was left laying down bleeding. U.S. officials view anti-gay violence as human rights violations and granted Kargaltsev and a number of refugees asylum based on the persecution they faced for their sexual identity. The United States is also using diplomacy and aid to support gay rights. Journalist Michael Lavers with the gay newspaper The Washington Blade recently participated in a U.S. government-sponsored workshop in Colombia where he talked to gay and lesbian activists about how to use the media to hold officials accountable. This is not to say that the situation here in the United States is far is perfect. We certainly have our own issues with discrimination and so forth, but folks outside the United States, at least folks I've spoken to in Colombia and in other places around the world, really look to the United States almost as an example of you know, how to do things right, how to promote human rights. President Obama was in Senegal when the U.S. Supreme Court expanded gay marriage rights. In Senegal and 38 countries in Africa, homosexuality is a crime, and in some countries, it is punishable by death. The president spoke out in favor of same-sex marriage. We believe in basic fairness. And uh, you know, what I think yesterday's ruling signifies is one more step towards ensuring that those basic principles apply to everybody. Senegalese President Macky Sall said his Muslim-majority country would not change its laws. Opponents of same-sex marriage in America are also critical of U.S. foreign policy, supporting same-sex marriage, which is not legal in many U.S. states. Thomas Peters is with the National Organization for Marriage. We don't believe that redefining marriage is the path towards equality. Uh, when you redefine marriage, you actually create an inequality in society. And so, on the one hand, we can absolutely support gay rights to not be persecuted for their orientation or for their lifestyle, but we also can stand up for marriage, which is what we do. Human rights groups agree that protecting free speech and combating hate violence should be a priority for U.S. foreign policy. But they say supporting equal rights also means supporting the right for same-sex couples to marry. Ryan Patton, VOA News, Washington. Now, many African leaders feel that homosexuality violates their country's cultural and religious values. Some say their sovereignty allows them to reject rights for homosexuals, even if granting those rights are tied to international aid. Vincent? Well, thanks a lot. Now, our Facebook fan page is close to 23,000 strong. Join the conversation and find out what others are saying. The address is VOA 54 uh, and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.